All right, Bob is back. You were you were telling us earlier that the new prediction for the season is out from NOAA, and it uh, it's going to be a busy one. Apparently, yeah, we're going to get to that in just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's it's too good. We were hoping we were revising downward, but no, yeah. it's it's upward. Uh, on top of that, upward flying through the storm are the Hurricane Hunters, and uh, from uh, again Keesler Air Force Base, that's the Hurricane Hunters, and you got NOAA that flies through them. This is a a time lapse of them flying through Franklin earlier today. This is probably on the P3 Orion out of uh, NOAA. Again, NOAA flies these uh, aircraft in there to get some valuable information. I know I flew into this one. Uh, I actually flew in the P3 Orion into Ivan uh, again, and then uh, uh, Bertha back in uh, 1996 on the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. And it is a heck of a ride. This is when the storm was just emerging back off into the southwest Gulf of Mexico, so it kind of gives you a, a great perspective there from the cockpit of the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Right now it's a lot bigger and a lot stronger storm. Let's hope we don't have to deal with like uh, that. Uh, and that just shows you how quickly these things can really snap back into uh, organization real quick once they enter over back over the water. And we're lucky with Emily, really. It wasn't over the water that long when it organized and thankfully it was just a tropical storm. And here's a look at the of NOAA predicting now. And in their prediction, they say it has the potential to be an extremely active hurricane season yet to go. Now, we've had one hurricane now, and that's set to make landfall in the next several hours. So we can expect at least four to eight more hurricanes to occur. And of those, two to five major hurricanes, those are the ones that do the most damage, obviously, with winds in excess of 110 miles an hour. And still, a lot of storms left to go. So... Uh, hopefully they stay out there in the open waters of the Atlantic. While the weather headlines read like this, we are watching uh, really three separate areas right now. The tropics are really starting to heat up. More storms for us on Thursday as a result of some tropical weather. And NOAA, as I said, increasing their prediction of storms as a result of the warm water and the forecast as far as the shear goes in the environment is expected to lessen. Well, we had some storms around breaking out late again earlier this evening. Uh, this is from Northport, Carol getting this shot as the sun was shining on these storms that were reaching up the heights up to 40,000 feet. And then this one from Palmer Boulevard, uh, Boulevard in Sarasota, Colin sending that one in. Uh, amazing shot. And look at the tops of this from Anna Maria Michelle Stancil getting this one over the bay there, uh, showing those storms looking toward the east. And there's one, Buddy. He's posing. That's Art Conforti's dog just chilling out there in the bay. And you can see that big storm off in the distance. That one, too, lighting up. Well, we had a late start. The East Coast breeze making it all the way over to the West Coast. Now, look at this rotation looking uh, pretty healthy already. Uh, there's a possibility of that developing. Not much. The National Hurricane Center only gives it about a 10% chance right now, but I think that may be increasing. Uh, we are looking at uh, some showers still lingering near Inglewood. We have one lone storm right there near I-75 and near Terra. Uh, this continues to push off toward the east and should be weakening as it does so. There it is right there. Uh, one storm around. Not much else going on. Things will be fairly quiet, but this is the area we're watching. This is going to bring some of these uh, moisture and the, some of this moisture our way tomorrow. So that'll be more so in place. We had a little drier air in place today, but that will start to moisten up tomorrow afternoon. And just looking from the last several hours, you can kind of see a little broad area of low pressure there as it makes its way off toward the west. It is going to increase our rain chances here. We're not going to see any kind of significant storm from that right now, and it doesn't appear it's going to be uh, having a big impact except bringing us some moisture. 79 right now, winds are out of the north at 3, the dew point way up there at 75 degrees, and the high today was warm, 93. Uh, the average 90, we were 3 degrees shy of the record. We had a quarter inch of rainfall at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Temperatures now across the area have cooled somewhat after today's highs in the low 90s. Uh, the forecast tomorrow calling for partly cloudy skies with a pretty good chance to see some showers and storms in the afternoon. Once again, a little bit more action. Now, in the tropics, we showed you this earlier, Franklin continues to move right toward the coast of Mexico here and just about ready to make landfall in the next couple of hours. It's moving to the west at 13, and the warnings are out, obviously, for those folks. And we're keeping an eye on this area, too. And right now, it appears that it's not going to have a big chance of hitting Florida, but North Carolina, not out of the question there. And conditions are becoming a little bit more favorable for this to develop. It's expected to move off to the northwest, then curve around an area of high pressure uh, just to the east of Bermuda. Well, the forecast for us, calling for more showers and storms, mainly in the afternoon and evening. They'll be hit or miss, and it looks like that'll be the case again on Friday as there'll be plenty of tropical moisture in the atmosphere. For boaters, winds will be very light out of there, 10 knots, a light chop, the water temperature at 91 degrees. Upcoming tides, low tide at 8:12. Tonight's forecast, 
Partly cloudy, scattered storms winding down into the Gulf. And then tomorrow, a little bit uh, more activity in the afternoon, a high of 91. The extended forecast calling for a good chance for scattered storms riding in through the next seven days. Scott. All right, Bob, thank you.